hi all welcome to another video of angular prime ng tutorial so this is the last video of the product crud so previous three videos i have done a product listing add product and edit product so we have reused the same component for the add product and edit product in this video we will explain how we can delete a product so i am using a fake store api for the same for delete also so let's have a look on it so let's get, let's get into the code we can have an edit button right now so we can use a add button or uh, delete button also so let me add a button delete so i'm just giving a trash icon and i'm using the prime ng p button and i'm giving a orange color which is a p button warning and i'm calling the function delete product and passing a product variable which is in the product component okay and i have to write the function delete product here so let's go to the product component ots then you can write a function called delete product and you will get the whole product so it has an interface of product so delete product now our next step is once we click on the delete product you have to show a confirm dialog and you you will want to confirm this product needs to be deleted then once we click on yes then only product will get deleted else the model will be cancelled so this is what we will do next so we can see the delete button so in order to do the confirm dialog we can use the prime ng confirm prime ng confirm dialog we can use it just search for confirm dialog so you have to import confirm dialog module and the confirm service in order to use the service so first we will import confirm dialog module and then service let's import in the corresponding module section so once that has been imported the dialog module should be added in the import folder and confirmation service should be added in the providers so if you add it here it will be accessible to any files uh, which is accessing the product module so let's get into the product component dot uh, html uh, sorry product component dot ts file okay so that has been imported then when we click on the delete icon it will call this function and here we want to use a function like this way we have to use the confirmation service so if you try to use the confirmation service here it will show an error because we are not added in the not injected in the constructor so let me add in the private message service then confirmation service that also needs to be imported here okay once that has been imported there will be no error message so are you want to uh, are you want to delete this product so we will show a message once user click on okay we will call the api to the back end okay so we will add the implementation there and before in order to show this confirmation service you have to use a p confirm dialog there so for that you can go and add it, a p confirm dialog anywhere in the product component dot html i'm just adding just uh, above this uh, p toast okay so header i'm just adding delete confirmation so it's a delete we don't need to add any icon so i'm just removing the icon for now So when you click on the delete you can see a, a confirm dialog box has been added and it is asking for this one and if you are clicking no it will be closed and if you are clicking yes it will call the function accept okay so once user clicks on the delete icon what you have to do is if you are using the api service you have to call the api 
but if you are not using the api you are you want to do some project a sample project you can remove that element from the product list okay so now first i will show both ways first i will call the api and i will uh, confirm the api is success okay so for that we have to go to the product service file so go to the product service file create a service delete product let's assume we are passing only the product id here and the product id will be the number and it will return this dot http dot it will be the delete api so how you can check it is a delete api here you can see the method is delete okay then you can copy the url also so delete then the url and it should be the six should be a product id so in order to use the product id so i am using a template literal so that we can add the string and variables together to add the variables you can simply put a dollar symbol and curly bracket inside put the variable then the product id will get replaced so the delete product api we have done then next thing is go to the product.component.as one user clicks on the accept you have to call uh, product service so this dot product service dot delete product then from the product you have to pass the product id so it is product dot id you have to pass it and you can subscribe the function once you get the response what you can do is once this is a success response if it is a success response you can show a toast message okay it is success so in order to show the talks toast message you have to use a message service so message service also imported in the provider service. so you can use it globally in the product component product module uh, or wherever we are using um, whichever the components using in the product module we can use it okay so here you can use private message service then here also you can write message service so message service also imported from the time ng api once that has been injected here you can use this dot message service dot add i am just copy paste uh, the same thing we have done in the add and edit dot component dot here so i'm just copy pasting from there i'm adding it here sorry it's all done okay instead of message i will show deleted successfully if it is an error you can show error message okay so you can add this way and also in the fake api they are clearly mentioned the product will not be deleted on the database since this is a dummy json it doesn't delete it from the database so we have to add the concept manually and in your case if you are calling the api that will be the original api right so what you have to do you after it has been success just call the product list that's all okay so you just call here this dot get product list okay then it will call the api and get the updated list after the delete okay so in your case you can do if you are calling the original api else what you can do is if you are using a dummy json like me then you can use the products this dot products equal to this dot products then we are filtering dot filter filter sorry yeah filter um, then data 
then data dot id not equal to this product dot id so i will take all the records uh, other than this product id okay then it will be saved into the products then automatically it will be reflected so let's get into the demo section so you can see when you click on the delete are you sure you want to delete this product yes so if s yes has been clicked it has been deleted so if you click again it's the opener then if you click on yes it has been deleted successfully so you can delete um, that way and one more thing uh, some things uh, in the previous video I have done the edit so there were there was one issue while you are adding the record so because uh, adding was not working once I have uh, updated the DB the issue was if you go to the product dot component dot ts and here there was I am using the selected product dot id so what you have to do is uh, for the add product there won't be any select product that will be null so it will throw an error in the console for while adding um, in the previous video while adding there was an issue so you just add, a, uh, add this line here and then check otherwise you can also use like this way this is also fine so that way you can um, remove that uh, you can fix that issue okay so this is how we can we can just uh, check now everything like if you are need to add product so it is getting added uh, uh, another thing is since the second the every time if you are adding a product we are calling the api but api is generating a token called always 21 so always you can create a product uh, with this api this is an issue with the api because you are using the dummy json you can add any product but all the product id is getting tagged as 21 so if you're trying to edit this one also so it is getting edited see uh, so anyone can be edited uh, so for example sometimes it won't work because the id getting tagged is the same one so sometimes it won't work because of this fake store api uh, created only uh, one api at a time okay so that is fine uh, but if you are doing the edit product for the other existing fake store api records it is working fine because we are calling the api and we are updating from our end as well for while adding the product it is not really required after adding the product if you edit the newly created records uh, there you can see some issues because it is not the live data it is it is a dummy json and it is the update the id will be the same okay that is the other thing so you can delete also so i hope everything is working fine and as a part of some refactoring code whatever you are calling um in the product components api is calling getting subscribed right so wherever you are calling the subscriptions make sure while destroying this particular component you have to unsubscribe it okay i will show one example in one of the component then you have to use the same in other components also so what you can do is just write an own destroy function there are different ways to do that but i am doing like this way on destroy so first you have to write an on destroy then oh, by default it's a life cycle hook on on destroy of this particular component that means you are navigating from one component to the other it will get destroyed okay during the destruction what you have to do whatever the subscriptions you are using you have to unsubscribe it okay so for that let's create uh, one main array to save all the subscription so subscriptions is a main array I'm telling subscription equal to an empty array then let's import the subscription subscription array the another one is each subscription so the first subscription is the product list subscription so you can give uh, either a subscription one or uh, two something like that but i am giving it as a product subscription
subscription or the product list subscription so it should be specific to each subscription subscription let me add new subscription so once the subscription has been added you have to assign whenever we are calling the subscription there you have to assign this variable and what you have to do to the subscriptions array like this dot subscription dot push so this is overall subscriptions this is individual subscription so one subscription i will push the subscription here the same way if you are calling the delete api right so here delete api you have to call a delete subscription something like that you have to and push after the subscription has been called you have to push the subscription into the main subscription array like that then if you come to the ng on destroy all the subscriptions you have pushed right you have to pu push you have to unsubscribe so take individual subscription then you have to tell sub dot unsubscribe so you can you do this thing and also if you don't have something some logic inside the response you can also use the async operations directly in the html so there are different ways uh, to unsubscribe the subscriptions but make sure it should be unsubscribed otherwise there is a chance of some um, memory leak issue also so it it should be always a good practice to write a ng on destroy and uh, destroy all the subscriptions okay so this is all about uh, a delete functionality and the unsubscribe